Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in to Women in Ministry Television. I'm the host, Jacqueline Battle of Women in Ministry Television. And today, my guest is Apostle Sharon Billings. I have been wanting to get this lady on this broadcast ever since God gave it to me over almost 10 years ago. And she's joining me today. Welcome, Sharon. Apostle Billings. I'm glad to be here, uh, Jacqueline. This is exciting. Thank you so much. It's such an honor to have you on this broadcast. It really is. You recently just got back from Africa. You're on everybody's platform. I mean, God is really opening so many major doors that you recently just come back from, and I can't wait to hear about all of it. I want to tell the people a little bit about how I got to know you. Once again, I follow you on Facebook and Instagram, and if you're not following her on Instagram, you're missing out on a tremendous blessings. I want to share this particular one that came up in my spirit today. Um, It is well. This was posted a few days ago, but it says it is well with my family, with my health, with my money, with my ministry. It is well with my soul. And this other one I want to share from her Instagram, and I'm going to put it on there. If you're not following her, you really want to make sure you're following her on Instagram. It says sometimes we have to let go of what's killing us even if it's killing us to let go. When I saw that woman of God, I was like, wow, wow, that is so true. Sometimes we have to let go of what's killing us, even if it's killing us to let go. And I've been through a recent transition with that, and it really hurt me to let go of some things. But, you know, sometimes we have to let go, amen, in order to move forward in what God is calling us to do. Amen. Amen. Now, do tell the people, oh, I do want to say this. If you have not been to her Samuel School of Prophets, you don't know what you're missing. This is her, it's, it's powerful. And at the end, I mean, she ministered prophetically to just about everybody in the room. So I want to highlight that. Now, do tell the people who may not know you and follow you on social media about who you are, your ministry, and how you come to know the Lord. Yes, yes. Well, I am a preacher's kid twice. My mother and father both were preachers. Um, and, um, I, uh, came to know the Lord at the tender age of 11 years old. I was baptized with the Holy spirit and I started teaching Sunday school in the church at 15 years of age, uh, teaching the little ones. And then gradually, as I went on to college, came back home, teaching, um, adult Bible study. Sunday school. I've done everything in a church you can possibly think of. Been the janitor, played the organ, led the choir, community relations specialist. um, You name it, I've been an evangelist, a teacher, um, associate pastor, elder, uh, prophet. And now I'm a senior uh, pastor, overseer, apostle. I travel, I govern churches and pastors and businesses and leaders all over the world. I have spiritual sons and daughters from Canada all the way over to Africa uh, in London. Uh, And um, I I travel from place to place, starting up churches, um, uh, training churches, their leaders, uh, imparting. I prophesy to to generals in the army. I (laughs) prophesy to CEOs. I, I go to uh, uh, corporate uh, uh, presidents, fly me in to, to, to uh, give spiritual wisdom and counsel to their board members. I sit on a board of directors in many nonprofit organizations in my city here. And I am a mother to two adults and one new son in love. So now I have three children and I'm waiting on my grandchildren that are sitting on the shelf in heaven to come down. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Me too. <laughs> and so I, 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 I'm just, uh, and I love to cook. That's who I am. I, and and I love to shop. And as you can see behind me. Oh, come on, social media! Don't cut me off. Yeah, it look like we're experiencing technical difficulties on her end. It's showing me that it's still live. We're going to see if she, hold on a moment and see if she can come back in. Um, it, yeah, it totally cut her off. And I'm going to see if I can get her back on. Just stay with me. 
um, for a few moments. Hey, Lisa, God bless you. Thank you for tuning in. I see three people. I don't know who the others are, but hopefully I know she's on a difficult laptop or computer there that may have cut her off. So hopefully we can get her back on. She's, uh, I can't wait to, for her to share with you. Is that she goes? We got disconnected and I'm so sorry about that, but, but there I'm we saying I, I do get the sleep that is needed. Uh, this week has been a tremendous week of rest. Uh, as you well know, Apostle Jacqueline, I just got back from uh, Nairobi, Kenya. I was there at the time of pre-elections of, of, of their, um, uh, uh, I'm sorry, of pre-elections of their president and their their um, current president won again, President Kenyatta, but there was a lot of protest and violence and we were able to get out the city uh, at a good time before the, the election day. Um, some major doors have opened up. I, I spoke at a conference of uh, maybe 15 regional pastors uh, and now my new nickname is Mama Africa. Ah. So. <laughs> they do call you mama in Africa. <laughs> I can't, I was prophesied to three different times that I had an anointing like Ruth Heflin, who was a spiritual mother to some of the greatest generals we have. Yes. And so I even got a chance to go to her cap grounds in North Virginia, near the Washington DC area. Uh, the 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 uh, camp meetings that are held even now, uh, and met some of the people who are continuing her work. So uh, I I just do uh, whatever God sends me to do. My next assignment will be in Portland, Oregon, uh, on next week. I'll be I'll be one of the main speakers at a big conference there. Apostles, prophets, um, fivefold ministers and kingdom, the seven mountain culture kingdom, people from all around the world. So I'll be there. Then following that, my next assignment is going to be in Princeton, Louisiana, uh, with Apostle Barbara Davis, uh, flying into Shreveport, uh, ministering at a prophetic conference there for three days. And then towards the end of September, I'll be in Central America in the Honduras, uh, ministering there. Yeah. Like I said, guys, God is really moving this lady from north, south, east, and west, and even in foreign territories. So we praise God for her. Woman of God, do you have a website that I can put on the screen so they can yes. find out where you yes. at in those areas? Yes, it's www.sharonbillins.org. That's B I L L I N S dot org. Right. Sharon Billins. Okay. Yes. Is on there. Thank you so much for that. Now, once again, do tell me a little bit what God did in Africa. And you recently just got back, maybe about a week oh. or so. So do tell testimonies of that and go from there because I don't want to interrupt you anymore. Go from that. Uh, do you have the Samuel School of Prophet coming up again at least one time this year? I know you're traveling. And then go from that. Hold on. Go from that and then go into the message that is bubbling in your spirit to share with us. Now it's all yours. <laughs> Can you hear me? Did it cut off again? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Stay tuned, you guys. We hope she'll sign back in. Once again, we're having technical difficulties. And while we're waiting on her to sign back up, I just want to, um, for those of you who may not know her, her uh, Instagram account, once again, is what I follow a lot. Of. I don't get to be on Facebook as much. Let me see if I can get her account and just share a few of the words of encouragement while we're waiting on her to come back on. Hello, I see she's signing on. On one of the posts, she said, God is getting ready to bless you beyond your imagination. Grab that. That comes from Ephesians 3.20. And then another one of her po posts. Oh my, we come against this technical difficulties in the name of Jesus. In a few days, what has looked like a catastrophe has now been turned into a living dream of fulfilled promises. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you that she's coming back on. In yeah. the name of Jesus. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. But you know what this is about, don't you? I know. This is the first time this has ever happened to this extent. 
<laughs> it's, be, it's because someone is he going to be blessed. I'm not going to even call his name. He won't get the glory. But you go ahead, woman of God, and just share with us. Well, first of all, the, the next Samuel School of the Prophets, due to my traveling, will convene the first Saturday in November. That's okay. a definite. The first okay. Saturday in November of this year. Um, and um, we're going to we're going to take it up a notch higher. This is the year of victory. This is a year of release. This is a year of restoration. And I'm excited about what God is doing. Um, so, so many things are happening. Uh, amen. Glory to God. So mark your calendars. First Saturday uh, in November uh, to be held at the Remnant Church, 1605 Third Avenue in Columbus, Georgia. And all you got to do is uh, check my Facebook page out or Instagram at, at Doc Billings or even Twitter at Columbus Prophet. And um, you will see the advertisements going out like at least two weeks before the class begins and on the website. So I'm excited about that. Um, and um, Africa, again, Nairobi, Kenya, was that was my second time in Africa. Uh, the, my first time was in Lagos, Nigeria, 10 years ago. And I still have connections from that time. But uh, uh, I know God is opening up the door to some major, major things happening there in Kenya, having met the two largest spiritual fathers all over Kenya, Bishop Masindi and Bishop Katanga. Uh, awesome men of God who pastor pastors all over uh, Africa and Europe. And I was able to minister at one of their churches and minister with one of the family members of Bishop uh, uh, Katanga. So God is, <laughs> is moving in a great and mighty, mighty way. Yes. Um, I, I'm just, just looking forward to uh, 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 advancing the kingdom and this is awesome, the way that God has set you up, Apostle Jacqueline, to reach out to the masses uh, in this manner. And women in ministry is, is still a, a novice. It's still a unique thing to so many people around the world, especially when they see a woman apostle. And I'm, mm -hmm. and I'm looking at people like dumbfounded, like, duh, did you not read your word? Priscilla and Aquila yes. were apostles were a married team. She was the lead apostle who Amen. helped know Jesus in a better way. And then Junia, who Apostle Paul mentions, she was a female apostle. And I'd like to say that Deborah was a prophet, but Deborah was an apostle too. Yeah. She was transformed. She was breaking some ground. And yeah. apostle this means someone who is sent by God, sent by God on a special assignment, amen, in order to bring truth, in order to break down barriers, pull down strongholds, glory to God, destroy chains of darkness, an apostle moves in miracle signs and wonders, and I have authentic certified miracles that follow my ministry. I have an anointing oil that just won't wait. I'm still getting testimonies uh, from as, as far away as Texas and Canada and Africa about my anointing oil and how people have been healed and set free of the demons of addiction, set free of illness, sicknesses, even a woman who was healed of fourth stage cancer uh, using that anointing oil. And God is moving in miraculous ways. I, I'm excited to be a part of the Jesus team. I am a Jesus yes. girl all the way, yes. all the way. <laughs> Amen. God. Amen. And speaking of anointing oil, y'all, she have it in the cutest little containers. And I picked up a couple of them when I was there at Samuel School of Prophets about a couple of months ago. But woman of God, go right into the word of God, whatever you feel in your spirit that you um to share with the viewers on today and feel free. And that's it. I'm not going to hold you up any longer than that. But just take your time and speak to us. What, what do you hear God saying in this hour? Well, what I hear God saying is 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 basically something that I was chewing on when I was in Nairobi, Kenya, man, minding my own business, and the Lord began <laughs> in my look, my own. I don't have any business. My own business. Come on now. 
You, I've been bought with a price. And so there I was, and the Lord is saying, go to Ecclesiastes. I says, what's in Ecclesiastes? He said, go to Ecclesiastes 5, verse, chapter 5, verse 19. And I, and I start reading it, and it just, it was like it was illuminated, where the Lord says, I'm going to release, uh, glory to God, wealth and possessions to my people, wealth and possessions. And I got excited. I said, oh, my goodness. And then he, and then he was saying, and he says, and then I'm going to give you good health to enjoy it. Hallelujah. Then the last says, not only that, I'm going to uh, give you the ability, meaning the mindset, to receive it. All, all of that. And I, I, as many times as I read Ecclesiastes, that just jumped in my spirit. And I said, Lord, what he said, this year is a year of release. This year I'm restoring back to the saints all the things that the enemy has taken. And so God is telling me to tell the people of God, get ready because not just possessions, but wealth along with it and good health. Because if you don't have good health, then you can't enjoy the wealth. Yes, Can sure. I be real about it? Yes. So God this year, 2017, is a strategic year. And then, of course, you know, on Monday, we're going to experience that solar eclipse. That is prophetic in and of itself, signs and wonders in the land that the Lord is giving us signs that he's soon to come back. And so God is going to answer the heartfelt cry of the saints who've been crying out, glory to God, Lord, I need help. Lord, I need to advance the ministry. Lord, I need to do this. Lord, Lord, I need to be free. And, and listen, I've been claiming my jet. That's part of my possession package. Yeah. There is a benefit package for every saint of God. Amen. And the Bible declares in Psalms daily, he loads us with benefits. And so there is a benefit package that belongs to each one of us that will enable us to complete our assignments on this earth. Glory to God. Amen. Amen have to contend for your benefits. You have to fight for your benefits. You have to pray for your benefits because they belong to you. It's already been listed in heaven. Your benefit package, glory to God, when you take on the assignment, just like when you get hired by the personnel in companies, there's a benefit package that they give you. You get vacation. You get people. Glory to God. You get health insurance. Glory to God. And the Lord is saying there is a glorified benefit package that belongs to his saints that will enable them to do the work that he has called them to do and all you've got to do is stay in position don't get out of position don't compare yourself to anybody else because God made you uniquely you you've got an anointing on your life you've got a seed of righteousness on the inside of you that's going to flourish to the maximum potential if you just stay amen and subject yourself and submit yourself to the power of the Holy Spirit God will anoint you for purpose God will anoint you to prosper in all that you do. I'm excited. Amen. This is also a season that God is releasing women like never before. He's yes. raised women from the backhand. The JLs, amen, that accompanied Prophet Deborah. The one, she is the one that put the nail in Sisera's temple. Amen. God is bringing up the JLs. He's birthing out the JLs. He's birthing out the Esthers. He's birthing out the Priscilla's. Glory to God. He's birthing out the Abigail's for such a time as this. It doesn't matter what you've done. God has already pardoned your sins. It doesn't matter what people have said about you. What's on the inside? Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And God is saying, come forth, daughter of Zion. And come forth, woman of destiny. Come forth and assume your position. It's the battle line. Glory to God. Hallelujah. There were not just male disciples that walked with Jesus. There were some women alongside with those men. Glory to God. Because the Bible says in Acts chapter 2, glory to God, when they were in the upper room, it named all the men disciples. And then it says, comma, and the women. And the women will preach all by itself. And the women, glory to God. Those women, glory to God, will hold up the arms of Jesus that God is saying, yes. 
forth my daughters of destiny, my daughters of Zion, my daughters of warfare, my daughters of increase and prosperity, for I shall do a great and wonderful thing in your lives because you have been faithful in the little things and now I shall make you a ruler over many things, says the Lord thy God. So get ready, women, we're coming for it. Oh, no, no, no. I guarantee you that phone is knocking her thing off. You guys, she's going to come right back. We're going to get hold up. I mean, in the midst of it, I hope she noticed that she's off. Let me text her real quick. Oh, my goodness. Stay tuned, everyone. Right in the middle, the devil is a liar. Everybody knows that, but I don't even like to call his name. He's a defeated foe. Thank you, Andrew Nichols and Lisa Brooks. I don't know who else is out there. Many will tune this broadcast in um, a few hours when they get off work and everything. There she go. There she go. I know what's knocking you off. That devil, he's a liar. Can you hear me? I see you, but you're not moving. Hello. Bear with us, everyone. We do this is technology for you. It's a great tool that God has invented for his glory, but it's not perfect. I'm sure she'll come back on. Yes, he is, Andrew Nichols. The devil is a liar. Amen. But here she is, everybody. Go it cut off right in the middle, woman of God, but you go right ahead. What I was saying was that God is raising up women, and he's also what I'm seeing now is that God is doing a purging of a lot of the male ministers. There have been, the enemy has attacked many male preachers in this season, in the last 10 years, male, uh, I'm talking about generals, and God is doing a cleansing and a purging and a purification, getting that head, that male back to position yes. and a proper alignment of where they need to be. I've had several to come across my path that need some inner healing and deliverance. It's not all of the men, but it's quite a few of them. Them. And God is saying enough is enough. And he's going back and he's sending a cleansing and a purification. And he's causing these men to repent of their sins. And at the same time, he's raising up women that will take heed to the gospel, who will do what he's called them to do. But he hasn't forgot about his sons of thunder. He has mm -hmm. not forgot about them, but he knows that there has been some weakness and the Leviathan spirit and the Python spirit has come to constrict these men from really being all that they can be. And God is gathering them up. Listen to me. He's gathering them up that they will be strong again in this season. Yes, he Thank is. Amen. Praise God for that powerful word. And unfortunately, we did have a few technical difficulties, but I think we got the gist of it. Amen. We thank you so much, so much, woman of God, for taking time out of your day. Is there anything else in um, Apostle Billings before we sign out that you want to say? And then before you sign out, we sign out, please uh, end with prayer. Are you still there? Look like it froze up. Are you there? Oh my goodness, this is so heartbreaking. I've been waiting to have her on here and this thing is just acting up, but that's technology difficult uh, for you. But when she gets back on, we're going to go ahead and sign off. Thank you guys for tuning in on today. Um, hopefully she comes back really quickly. Um, that was a powerful word. Well, like she's signing on again. This is the first that has ever happened that many times. The devil does not like it when a true prophet of God is on and always uh, some oppositions. Amen. I would sing to you guys, but you probably don't want to hear that. <laughs> to God be the glory. I can sing. Okay. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. If she is for the things he has done. Here she is. She's back. I just had to keep them company so you come back. Go ahead and finish the moment of God with a prayer, and we're going to sign off. I'm going to get you back on really soon. Yeah. After you get through traveling, maybe in the winter. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, let's let's have prayer. Father God, we do thank you and we do honor you and we praise you for the words that have gone forth. And I stand in agreement with all of the ones who are listening to this broadcast, Father God, that you will indeed cause them to flourish and that you will birth them into their purpose, Father God, and that there will be no distractions or hindrances whatsoever. I bind it up in the name of Jesus yes. and I declare and decree, Father God, prosperity. I declare and decree that the wealth and the possessions will come into their head and I declare and decree good health upon everyone listening and I declare and decree a mindset and an ability to receive all that you have for each person on this broadcast today and Lord I declare a double blessing portion for Apostle Jacqueline Battle in the name of Jesus let it be upon her and our ministry and I seal it with the blood of Christ in Jesus name amen Amen, woman of God. Don't sign off. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hold on to possibilities. Thank you so much for tuning in to Women in Ministry Television. If you're a woman of God, if you know a woman of God, that God is raising up these Deborahs and in the last days, I mean, just message me at womeninministrytv at gmail.com. We would love to have her on. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. Amen. Yeah.